Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Pixel Perspective. Today we're going to look at a Super Nintendo cartridge uh, that has a lot of damage to the pin connectors. Um, this is going to be a special cleaning and I have to lay out all the information to you beforehand uh, so you don't think that this is a normal cleaning tutorial. Now normally the recommended cleaning method with uh, Super Nintendo or any cartridge like NES or Nintendo 64 is to use alcohol uh, and q-tips that way you can you can clean off all the dirt and it'll, it'll dry right away and it's the safest method um, even the back of the cartridge if you look at it says don't use alcohol or abrasives but um, a lot of people think that the reason they did that was so they can sell their own cleaning products um, alcohol does not harm electronics as long as you dry it off right away it's actually the safest method. Uh, as you'll see in this video, I'm going to be using a different method because the damage on this cart is extensive. I've already removed the screws. So I'm going to show you here. I'm trying to focus here. Now, if you see, the pins are totally oxidized. Now, no amount of alcohol will help this problem. And this cartridge in this shape will not play whatsoever. As you can see from the recess, it looks like something was spilled in there, maybe a soda or some other drink that dried over time, and of course it totally rotted the pin connectors. Now, these pin connectors, as you can see, have a goldish color to them. They're, the metal is coated with a very thin copper shielding that uh, helps uh, the conductivity of the circuit to get a better you know connection when you put the cartridge in and fire it up now the reason I don't recommend using this method uh, under normal cleaning circumstances is because this method method will actually remove the copper coating you will see when I'm done cleaning this cartridge pin set that uh, they will have a silver color because the copper coating will actually be washed away. But this is an extreme circumstance, so we want to try to save this cartridge before the oxidation gets worse and totally corrodes the rest of the connectors. So one more time, I'm warning, do not do this kind of cleaning under normal circumstance. This is an emergency type to situation. Uh, the only kind of situation that you want to use this kind of cleaning method on. Try to move this stuff. What I'm going to use is a metal polish. Uh, what I have is Autosol metal polish. A lot of people use Brasso. Uh, this is just as good. You can get it at an auto parts store. Relatively cheap. Basically what I'm going to do is take your everyday Q-tip. And I'm just going to coat the end by rolling it in the tip. Now, if you don't want to use too much of this stuff because it gets everywhere and it makes a mess. And that's not a good thing. And what you want to do is get it on the pins and just scrub it in really hard. And repeat the process until you no longer see oxidation. Now you're going to use, you see, that's uh, some of the oxidation burning off there. See, this stuff's a mess. I'm just going to rub it in really hard. You don't, um, I've seen a lot of people use nail files and stuff to try to file off the oxidation. Uh, it works, but I really don't recommend it because you're actually filing away some of the pins and leaving cuts in the pins uh, for more oxidation later. I'm going to use the other end of the Q-tip here. And we're just going to keep this going. As many times as we need to, you want to press hard. And keep doing this until all of the oxidation and corrosion is gone. See what we're looking at here? It's looking pretty good. 
I rarely see pin connectors this bad. This is probably one of the worst I've seen. Hopefully we can save it. Sometimes using a circular motion helps because you're polishing them from multiple angles while you're rolling it in a circular pattern. One thing that's important is to make sure you don't get any of the polish around any of the legs of the circuitry because it'll get all gunked up in there and you really don't want to do that. It's really hard to get out as uh, I found out the hard way not being so careful one day and uh, actually had to desolder. Um, some of the ICs and t just to get it cleaned up. Now it's looking a lot better here. Let me just get this one pin here. All right, let's pull this up here. Now, as you can see, most of the oxidation is gone. But as I told you before, uh, you see that that gold color is coming off. Um, of the pins. Now you have to realize that that the copper shielding also helps against the oxidation. So now that that copper shielding is gone, it this cartridge will be more prone to oxidation. So you have to be really careful um, not to get this near any moisture. Keep it clean. Uh, you know, I, I check my carts periodically, make sure there's nothing settling. Uh, you know, I, we live in Florida here, and there's a lot of humidity, and that makes everything stick to these pins and grind them up over the years. And of course, you know, the old in the old days they used to tell us to blow on the cartridges, and we found out uh, through studies recently that that's one of the worst things you can do because you're actually blowing saliva onto the contacts and getting spit all over them and causing more rust and oxidation. All right, now you can see after lots of uh, elbow grease and polish, uh, they're looking quite shiny. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Another Q-tip, put a little bit of alcohol, a loose amount, and uh, just clean the metal polish off. And you'll see a tremendous difference. Let's dry that off. Paper towel. And there you have it. Shiny and ready to go. Let's see if I can clean this other side really quick. And if I have enough time, I can try and fire it up for you. One of the most important things about this process is to apply pressure, lots of pressure, because that's what irons out the oxidation from the pins. And this one's tough.
One big problem we have here in Florida is a lot of people like to leave their old forgotten cartridges in garages uh, for 30 plus years and sadly uh, you know the humidity and the elements get to them over time and then this is the, the result you get a lot of times so sometimes uh, the corrosion goes all through the traces and the cartridges are totally unsavable um, sometimes you have to desolder the the ICs and put them on another uh, motherboard like this, one that's compatible, and then you can save the game. But sometimes uh, the elements uh, damage the main chips as well. Some people think things last forever, not if you abuse them and forget about them. Oh, looks like we're almost done here. There's a little too much there. I wanted to use this one in the video because this is probably one of the worst cases I've seen of oxidation on a, on a pin set. It's really bad. And I was even uh, questioning whether I could save it or not, but it looks pretty good. Mm, massage a little more. Yeah, look at all that. All that oxidation burning off. <coughs> One more application should do it. Alright, looks good. One important thing you want to do is look as close as you can to the nook between the end of the connector and where the trace begins because sometimes oxidation likes to cling to that little border right there and that's a very important area to look at you want to scrub at that point really hard make sure there's no oxidation in there all right let's clean the polish off it looks done once again some alcohol wet end dry end and paper towel And there you have it, nice and shiny. i put this cartridge together and see if she fires up. I'll clean the inside later. So I'll be right back and get my portable device.
And there she goes. First try. Alright, I hope this video was informative for you folks. Oh, this game's making me want to play. Oh, look, save files. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, enough, enough fun now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope uh, you learned something. Uh, hope to bring you some more videos soon. See you next time. This concludes this episode of Pixel Perspective. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please look below for the link to our blog, and feel free to leave feedback in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you next game.